Hi guys, JNM here with a video for Unity game devs who would like to create a Unity FPS game. Check out this asset. It is called Low Poly FPS Pack and it comes in a free and a paid version. Let me show you the free version first. This is a demo scene with a demo level for that you can use an FPS controller prefab that uses a handgun. I start the demo now and here you can see you can walk around and shoot, aim, and you have also nice explosions here. I love the animations and the models and this is all for free. When you press the G key you can throw a grenade and you can also attack using a knife. You can holster the weapon or reload. I love this reloading animation. There's one drawback that I noticed and this is you can't switch the weapons. There's no script or prefab included. So I decided to create one. Here is the FPS controller prefab that has a script attached, a C-sharp script that I called switch weapon. I added two arms and weapon game objects to the prefab. Only one of the objects is active and the switch weapon script is setting this active state. Ok, so let's start it to see it in action. The first weapon that is active is the Assault Rifle. That is an automatic gun. But now you can switch the weapon by pressing the U key. This key is just an example, you can change this in the script or I make this configurable. Again a nice reloading animation and create explosions. So if you like this guys, wait to the end of the video, where I show the features and the models of the full package. Ok, but now let's have a look at the scripts. I wrote a base class called Weapon Controller and the other scripts for the handgun and the automatic gun are derived from this class. But first let's have a look at the switch weapon, which is quite simple. There's a game object array for the weapon game objects that you want to be switched and I wrote a method to activate or deactivate the weapon with the current index. When you press the U key the weapon is switched, this means the current weapon is deactivated and the index is incremented. But I use the modulo operator to start the index by 0 when the current index is larger than the length of the weapons array. Ok, then I get the script that is attached to each weapon, the weapon controller base class and call the method on weapon use. The basic implementation of this method is to show the icon of the current weapon or the maximum ammo count of the weapon. But you can override this virtual method in your specific weapon controller. After that I activate the weapon with the next index. Ok, this is the weapon controller base class and it has all the basic member variables for a weapon and common implementations as virtual methods that you can use or override in the specific weapon controller classes of your weapons. Here are some example methods the weapon use that I mentioned on awake and on start where the weapon and the UI is initialized. Then we have the weapon sway movement which is a common method. And these are generic methods for aiming, holstering, attacking, running, spawning bullets and so on. And you can see that the implementation in the derived classes, for example for the handgun or for the rifle, just call these methods in the update method and they don't have many specific implementations. Ok, these are improvements I made and now you ask where can I get these scripts, what happens when the asset is updated. I discussed this with David, the creator of the asset and he told me that he probably would add the scripts to the asset if the integration is simple. We will see, I'm sure we will find a good solution. By the way, there is no money changing hands for this. I'm doing this for fun, I know, perhaps hard to believe, but it's true. Alright, but in the end let's have a look at the full package. It is a bit pricey, but the fact is that an asset of this quality and with this amount of content can't come cheap. Here we have a demo scene with a shotgun inside of a low poly building. Nice details. And 
And this one is pretty cool, a scene with a sniper gun. And here we have an outside scene. Stormy weather. And the weapon is the handgun again. The asset contains a lot of weapons, prefabs, animations. I added the link to the description below. If you want to create a professional, low-poly FPS game, then this is the package you need. Alright guys, I hope you liked this short Unity video about the low-poly FPS pack. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and follow me on my Instagram. The link can be found in the description. Be my patron, this would really help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on JNM.